Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here once again in another episode in the Old Roblox A to Z series with Broken Ghosts, but the Unbroken Resistance Pact. It appears that the previously discovered meeting has borne fruit. A new pact between nations of the north, dubbed the Unbroken Resistance Pact, attempts to limit our expansion into neighbors. From what well, we can gather, it's not a formal alliance, but rather a loose offensive network. They can then quickly mobilize and attempt to reinforce their opponents with volunteers via the Columbia River. We can still utilize our naval prowess and invade those outside of the pact, however. Keep in mind that these distant lands are not our ultimate goal and can only serve as colonies. More Brahmin to the slaughter, as we're waiting to uh, go to war with these guys because they want to go to war with us. We want peace. We want to be just left alone and to do our thing in core of the lands, but you know what? Some people are like, no, not today. Even though we are lacking manpower now, we're lacking infantry equipment, we're lacking demo equipment, we're lacking a lot of things, which is quite unfortunate, but you know, it is what it is. In the meantime, um, some builder won't be necessarily bad. Broken tribute, oh, that sucks. Fifth Lanchman, leader skill bonuses, daily command power, non core manpower, and more, better caps expenses. That's not bad, too. I think, really, a resistance growth in the states occupied by enemy. We only get 5% more um, organization. We're probably going to go with this guy, too. It just makes more sense to me for now, even though the other one is unique, and I like doing things that are a little bit more unique. But it is what it is. Uh, let's go your speed because I forgot about those. And what else? Because we are on petty gain conscription. Raider bands would be bad, but it does help our just five world times though. Doom of the wasteland. Even better, just five world times. Huh. All right. Let's see if they actually go to war with us. They might. They might not. We'll have to get some planes as well. Uh, cheap weapons, industrial concerns. That's always what I usually do. And the gun war with us. Well, hopefully we don't lose. That kind of sucked. Props from the drug trade. Before we go into that again, please go right ahead. Look at the Mojave territories as well. 35, 34, 25. Oh, there you go. And now they're forcing the attack as well. Oh boy. Oh boy. Um. You know, honestly, okay, well, we'll see what happens. I don't want to go to, well, actually, I did want to go to war with them, but they went to war with us, so, hey, I guess we'll see what happens, right? Breaking in the conquered, ah, oh, 5,000 manpower, thank God, finally, finally, finally. And then what? Enemy in the north, duh, the drums of war, put to the sword. We could, but we're going to go with more rights. Surprise, surprise, I know, right? Very, very good. Oh, wow, that just gives way more strength immediately. I like it a lot. Ah, factory's good. So now we have enough guns. We need more demo equipment, though. Lots of demo equipment. And it goes one, two. Well, I guess just one. You go to the bottom. There you go. See what else you can do. Can you help out there? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Yes, no, maybe so. Not bad. Deception tactics are okay. Uh, construction speed is pretty good. Daily compliance gain is going to be very good for us. Let's get more output first, though. Not bad, not bad. Ooh, 24 is not great, though. You know what? I'd rather just hold on to that tile than anything else. But political powers come pretty decent. Faith Lynchman. Camp Busher. Settlement Builder. Ah, I'll go with you. Why not? Some losses. 71 versus 332. Uh, Eureka! Yeah! Seven divisions this time. Yes, yes, please. So they have less than 1,000 manpower. They have no more equipment except for support equipment. It's just a matter of time. And we actually pushed in and took a tile away from them as well. What's not to love? Keeping up pace. Ever become the scourge of the season, we must keep our industry at the top of its game. Having our best minds work on the uh, on ways to improve our industry should suffice. Beautiful. Should be able to win that one pretty easily in the end. Keep the navy. Ah, sure, why not? Ah, Eureka. So are you guys all part of like a guaranteed pack or something? They have a non-aggression pack, okay. Interesting. They're forcing the attack again. My goodness, that's a 
It's a bit extreme and radical in my opinion, but you know, who am I to say? Well, okay. Well, okay. Well, okay. Oh, these guys are fighting down here too. The North, North, the Northwestern Brotherhood. Abel, well, that's cool. Versus Olympus Trap and the Old Country. Oh, we'll get there eventually, my friends. Thorn Reaper, huh? Not bad so far. Keeping up pace. Not bad. And power terror, power plating, huh? Even more plating, plate warriors. Armor of the Ghost. Well, it doesn't really make sense to do that one, so. Salvaging the ruins. Same thing, saves into the big ruins, find anything we can use. Pretty much. Alright. There it is, we can eventually do general attack, but I don't think we'll do that for quite a while. We're still kind of struggling here and there. Um, I guess if you really want to attack, I suppose, but. Not sure how much is really going to be worth it. Should probably try to research plan. Do we have, can we even research planes? We should be able to. Mobilize the people, manual prospectors. Sure, how much money do we actually have? 101. Trade nodes, and we have none. Which suck. Yeah, we're gonna keep in place, I guess. Doing a Juno attack would probably be a really bad idea, so we're not gonna do that. There to there to there would be nice, but we can't quite do that either. Salvaging the ruins is very good. Building the purifiers is very good. Destroying these guys right here would be very good as well. Three more divisions go bye-bye, yes please. Very good. Very good, very good, very good. And all that matters is we destroy the divisions. So literally all that matters. Hey, another division encircled. Beautiful. Portantulus. Expanding the capital. I love that one too. A grand capital must be expanded to make room for more factories to produce any and all goods we need for our expansion. Ancient Raiders. Since the founding of the Broken Coast, we've been to the Terra Lotus Seas. Recent discoveries in the northern Coover have revealed some uh, tactics used by our ancestors and uh, Port Tantalus. If we're to be true raiders, then we must expand the docks, starting with Port Tantalus. Why not? And now they're attacking us again quite a bit more. But they love attacking us. Not gonna lie, they love attacking. Heck, they went to war with us. Increase the population even further. Cam pusher, it's not worth it. Non core map goes down. Nah. Cap expenses is probably the best one. Okay. Why not? Go ahead if you can. Except if them, we just found them. We might have to go to work with other people, yeah. Um, this repeats itself. So, got quite a few things to do here. But then, Port Coover, a capital city of glorious port, one rival of any of any major nation. We're the true terror of the seas. And now, everyone, you, me, and we're going to be trying to beating up some pass keepers. Um, but we're known as Lord of the Waste, as we have the enemy up in the, that there north. The uh, dragons have ruled the corner of the north for a long, long time. Prince George is well fortified and resistant to the blizzards of the endless white, and its access to the river gives it a constant source of supply, even when the water freezes over. Inside their territory allows much metal and other resources that can be used to build our fleet. We have never fought or only scuffled, but their mere existence prevents us from dominating the north. If we must kill them to claim the north, northern crown, then so be it. And Graven's Grand Palace, formerly known as the Vancouver Town Hall. The tower and concrete structure that once held meetings on public spending now hosts bloody contests of strength, drug-fueled sex, and an army of loyalist men Graven's regime has to offer. <clears throat> What's not to love? Stand within his palace and gaze upon his, uh, his statue of himself as an honor. Or so he says, the walls are filled with eyes, and once a man steps out of line, he never leaves. 
Oh, Graven's pal. Ship. Graven's so consumed by rage and paranoia from his betrayal. At the moot, has assigned a ship fit for a conqueror such as himself. Has every accommodation possible, making it a floating uh, pleasure palace. But unlike most jet dens, it also has enough firefighter level anything in my encounter. Graven demands his magnum opus be constructed, as his men can do little but to, of course, obey. And obey they will. We have some comms to go through, like I said earlier. Um, and uh, we got uh, some passage, passage keepers to get rid of. And. Ooh. Oh, hello. It looks like we're not winning here. Oh, boy. But we must win, right? We must. Must we? Must we? We must. It doesn't look like they're really attacking us up here, which kind of sucks now. Do they actually push us out? No. Uh, I would like to attack them, but what if we just said, not today, and went to the brew, brew? The Blue River. So we throw one more division down here, we should be fine. Not super concerned. They should do fine over there. Uh, they might be inclined to attack us if we leave quickly enough. Yep, I was right. Ah, Hento Dussel has joined Kaiser's Legion. Ah, very good. Thank you for the money back. Yes. Very nice, and the game's quite laggy, huh? But we should do okay. We're just grinding here away at this. Seeing how much we can actually do while we are hopefully going to be able to beat these guys up. But we're going to be doing this for quite a while. So, in the end, <clears throat> a butt to the sword. New Victoria is considered by many to be a safe haven. Despite its seat of power being squarely in our waters, their well maintained defenses and active navy has prevented us from conquering them. But today marks the end of an era of safety for those weaklings. We shall probe their coastline for weaknesses and strike the neglected northern ports. Once they're at their weakest, the false queen shall fall. The drums of war. The north is a great expanse of territory, ruled by a very few due to its harsh climate and remote location. Those farther south often mistake the north for a weak place, filled with backward savages. This is their greatest mistake. The drums of war beat out a savage and primal anthem of bloodshed, encouraging our men to push onwards to the south where the most lucrative of conquest awaits. So, I did ask you guys yesterday whether we should do a trophy wife or we should do a martial contest. And overall, there's overwhelming support for a trophy wife, which honestly sounds like a lot of fun to me. Um, uh, I think that'd be a lot more fun to have than uh, a martial contest. As someone, as one, someone did say, a trophy wife is better. I'd rather be one 10 out of 10 instead of uh, with a lot of threes, fours, and fives out of tens. Someone said, trophy wife for that beautiful momentum. <coughs> and someone says, just trophy, trophy. Inside Graven's audience chamber set a mock throne constructed from the shattered hull of a once proud flagship. A blackened skeleton wearing a moldering red coat slumped with him. No skull remained to perch atop those bones and shoved into its place was instead a bent piece of scrap metal and the crude shape of a crown. This grim display represented the last remains of Queen Victoria, once a beautiful and renowned master of a formidable island nation. She is now a monument too, and a reminder of Graven's overwhelming fire, uh, power and a ver terrible wrath to all who saw her, his trophy wife. The tales of Victoria's fall and spread throughout Cascadia, drawing raiders and savages alike to join the black and blue banner, banner of her killer. Nothing like a beautiful trophy wife. Ah. However, in the meantime, uh, we gotta go with the ship palace. And right now, our, uh, these guys, they're actually taking a come with already, which is actually very good. Do we have fire teams yet? Uh, we're working on them. Well, not quite, but we are somewhat working on them. In the meantime, we have encoded signals, which are good, and we're going to grab some of this as well. What do we have here? Oh, good. Yeah. That helps out up in the north. They're continuing to attack us. We lost 245, they lost 670. I can't imagine these guys having too much manpower. About a thousand manpower left, so it's quite a bit still, unfortunately, to have to deal with, but... Chief Warden Sylvia, they have 26 divisions, and they have a decent amount of equipment, so which we'll work with. Who the heck is this? Pop their figurehead. Ooh. She's blonde. Almost as if World War Blues knows my weakness. Interesting. So you guys go there, but we're going to keep reading some more uh, focuses, shall we? So we got all that. Uh, full speed ahead. No oh, contact loss, that sucks. Uh, if we're going to become a superpower in the region, then we must focus our efforts on pushing out more weapons, armors, and ships. Our industry will rival that of the pit. That would be impressive if we could do that. Send so rescue team? Yeah, go ahead, do that. <clears throat> Master builders. Some of our slaves have shown understanding in construction. Free of those, free those who can build and make them master builders. We'll have a workforce of the best builders with the docility of a slave. Fortifying the coasts. If we're to become a power in the north, then we must do whatever we can to keep our homeland safe. Construction of land force must be a priority to keep us safe. A diverse fleet. With the great first steps taken, we can expand even more. Our fleet will be grand. Secret expansion. Sekshet is to become one of our greatest cities. Expanding the factories within is only natural. Port session. 
Our efforts to build Grand Fleet will continue in the uh, city of Session. It'll be the these will be the sites of the future. Rating expansion experience. We have more rating experience than anyone else in the wasteland. I'd like to see someone else try and stop us. Factories of the Cove. The Cove is a prime location for expanding our industry. So natural protection is a good staging point for our fleet. Masters of the Waves. For decades we've ruled the waves around the Brooklyn Coast. Now it's time for us to go even farther. Terror of the Seas. Our ships of our far all pace. Every other faction in the wasteland. Our hold over the seas is complete. And who enters our waters risks our wrath and Tantalus' game. Uh, Tantalus' pain is... Uh, Small city in the coast, they need to be expanded to be able to host our growing fleets. Adding factories is a good start to making it a major city. And now we're looking just a little bit thicker, which is a little bit more fun. We're looking actually quite a bit thicker now, with all the way over here. This took up so long. But in the meantime, you, me, and, uh, well, going to war to the north. Uh, we could go to war with them. Um, Pits of War, really send volunteers. Some volunteers limit. Yeah, we could try that. They can have as many volunteers as they want. It probably won't be enough for, the, for them to stop us, but hey, we'll see. Can we do anything here? Maybe, maybe not. No, no, it looks like we've got quite a few special forces over there. You guys, well, we'll wait for now for you guys to help push through as much as you possibly can. It looks like you just got here, but, you know, we'll see. Uh, we do have 85 army XP. The game just runs so slow now. My god, it's so laggy. It's almost to the point where you don't even want to play it anymore. So. Uh, let's see. Not bad. We're fortifying the coast. Old World Blues. And so... Uh, we are going to get to do Trophy Wife. We've done a lot of these already, but we're going to go ahead. Because we are crazy and power the terror, it makes more sense for us to do Terror of the Coast. Adding spikes to our weapons and armor will not only terrify our enemies, but it also gives a practical edge against our enemies. Followed up with Empowering Terror. Adding spikes to our power armor will make our enemies run away like little girls. Our armor will be the enemy of the world, and no one will stop us. Which is exactly what we want. Yeah, we're just lacking a lot, a lot, a lot of portable radios, as well as fire teams, which suck. Uh, they do have some robots, though, which is kind of interesting to see. We did see that earlier, too. But it shouldn't really matter, since earth piercing is probably relatively decent. Yeah, 30, 30, 30 piercing is uh, pretty good overall. Now, we do have a couple planes here. We do have our ships actually in the water already, trying to sit around and find uh, well, enemies. Um, where are our ships? Why did this fire again? I didn't even I didn't reload the game. Interesting. Very odd, but naval department. Watch out for spies, of course. Um, we could do that too. Might make it a little easier for us. Can we do anything here? Yes. No. Maybe so. It's green for now. Hope it's going to remain green. So we're here. It just it's going to take some time. So after these guys, we'll probably go to war with the Heidi Confederation. Probably go to war in New Victoria, and then oh maybe Coover, and then New Victoria at the end. That probably would be for the best. Legion oh, oh boy, it's gonna like super hard. It might even crash the game with how hard it cra uh, lags. <coughs> the bowl has been, of course, broken. So it's gonna take a little bit of time for that to go and make sure we don't crash. So and Malpais cohort, eh? beautiful. Let them crash and burn. But let's take a look at the dredgers themselves. They're old Pete. Crowd control gear. They got about a thousand manpower. Twenty-one divisions. Um, basic weaponry about a thousand, about what you would really expect. Uh, we could get some armor plating, that'd be probably a pretty decent to grab. Special forces stuff? Sure, why not? You know, we could grab some of the Doctrine School too. That's honestly probably worth it as well. Ooh, there goes New Victoria, they've arrived. Not ideal, but whatever. Oh, they've got more divisions here too, huh? They have three divisions there. Oh, huh, interesting. Okay. I guess we'll wait and have to wait and see then. 35 versus 85, which is decent. Up here, we do have a no air superiority. Mm, okay. Yeah, it looks like it's just going to take forever to fight through here. It's just a big old grind. The north is very grindy to fight in. Incredibly grindy. Which is quite unfortunate. As we are terror of the coast. Which is good, we got more attack. As we will empower the terror. And armor for the coast. Having high tech power armor would give us an edge over every one of our rivals. All our best scientists will work on getting us more power armor. Uh, Raiders of the Coast. Star Elite Warriors are known as Raiders of the Coast. They are our best warriors. We must train more. That's coming villainy, huh? We go all the way down here. We lose quite a bit of uh, supply consumption stability, as well as a division organization. We need to get more speed. Right of passage. Many of our young warriors will go soon out of the world to prove, them, to prove the worth. Let us add their strength to our armies. 
and to the great beyond. Well, those who grew weak and old under the old ways will not be given the chance to reach the highest honor. They fight to reach the great beyond and enter Makeda Pirates after much study. We finally had the lever to uproot the north, perhaps even the entire wasteland. For much of our history, the powder monkeys were mocked for the way they developed and relied on technology. But now we understand the error in their ways. Technology is a feature, and it let us achieve whatever we set out our minds to. I'm kind of surprised they're not attacking us here. I'm kind of surprised they're actually doing it relatively well here as well. Shouldn't get wrong. That's good, because we're lagging, but you know, whatever. That's pretty normal, right? Come on, uh, special forces. You can do better than this. Very, 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 very good. Keep them in place is always a good strategy as well. We've lost 259 versus 4 some. Not bad. Draw control gear, of course. Uh, ship wise, anything here? We do are building the personal floating palace as well, but let's see. Ooh. Would you look at that. Nice. That's good to see. It's very good to see, actually. Slowly just trying to push. Oh, they are forcing the defense. That is going to be. Probably pretty costly for them, not gonna lie. Pretty costly for them, hopefully, in the end. Ah, we did encircle them. Nice. Two divisions only, but you know what? It's better than nothing. Surprise, this guy's peg leg of Rohan has not done anything more. We have over 500 political power. Wow. Um, I will go to outside of battalions just to get some more compliance, growth, speed, and whatnot. Uh, we did grab this as well military academy training, military academy officers. We used political power, though, which is not ideal. And over here. And court too, because that helped raise the compliance over here as well. And we got that thing earlier that helped us reduce uh, the coring cost by 20%. Hey, they died. Beautiful. Over here, we're doing, we're doing better than I thought we would over here. Thieving the peg leg. You already have a peg leg. How much caps do we have? I don't get enough every month. We can spend this on increasing stability. That would probably be for the best. Keep increasing our consumer goods. Can't build down here too now, which is nice. Session. Good. Well, it looks like we're one in the end. It's just going to take uh, quite a bit of time. This game just lags as hard as it possibly can. So, I do apologize. I'm not showing you a lot of what we're doing, but it just it's just a giant grind at this point. So, um, you know, do educated pirates. And then we'll pretty much just grind our way into the dredgers and then start going to war the Heidegger Federation and maybe even Kuber itself. Now with the dredgers defeated and gone, it's time to go to war with the, their, their Heidegger Confederation, which we should do okay. You know, take them out one by one. Our guys are already over here. They're having a good old time. Let's get some warrior training done and we'll get some warrior equipment done too. We should be fine. The Heidegger Confederation shouldn't be too bad, but you know what? You never know. Um, actually, these guys... We're throwing doggos? How many doggos do we actually have? Oh, 163. Uh, we could research uh, Raiders of the Coast, but honestly, we don't need the manpower. We really don't, so we're not going to. Using only special forces here, but whatever. They love attacking us, though, as you can see. Also, one thing in the future, if you have a game run slow, just go ahead and uh, kind of just restart your computer. Sometimes that does the trick. Wow, they are... Not like demolishing their own manpower, but they are really uh, going to town with their manpower. Uh, they got plenty of still, but it goes up and down all the time. We can't quite win here, which sucks, but you know, whatever. Which makes sense. Badland buckaroos, eh? No, they want to attack us. So be it. They're just going to grind and grind and grind and grind until we get everything done here. Special forces, yes, that'd be very nice. We have over 500 political power since we're not doing a focus. Uh, that mine, I guess not really good. Yeah, I guess I'll wait. The canoes, less range, heavy ship manufacturers. We actually use making ships because we need a lot of ships to make sure we can invade. Production costs, that's fine with me. In the meantime, Peg Leg Rohan is doing quite well. Hell's Fighter, Mountaineer, Ranger. Let him attack us like crazy for now. Watch out for spies. We're almost done with this, with this as well, which is pretty decent too. And now we're at 439 capital, still not enough. Where are we at? He's almost level 5. He's getting closer. So we've lost 88 versus 1,000. That's pretty decent. Let's them continue to try to demolish us, but they're not going to be able to. And as soon as they run out of manpower, then we'll just do a general attack. It's going to take a little bit of time. Ship-wise, not bad. No planes, which is good. 
lower tariffs, eh, we're okay. Since we're here anyways, we have no consumer goods because we need to use all of our consumer goods for technological uh, adaptation. Uh, drastic measures, organization, relations. You say this care package, it attacks the big grass. Don't think it's going to do very much for us, but you know, whatever. Are they at 2,000 losses yet? No, they're 1,700, which is pretty good. That's just slowly going up. Slowly, slowly, slowly. And we're almost there. I feel like they're probably mobilizing as well, but at the same time, they are lowering their ability to field an army with weaponry. Almost there, almost there. Actually, we probably want to do the same here, too. Happy September, everybody. That is looking pretty darn weak. Army. Should do fine no matter what. Oh, nice. Intermediate electronics exploitation. Ooh, that's so good. Wow, we got three more slots. Awesome. Tribute and since oh we didn't do any of this stuff, huh? So we really can do industry all the way to level two, so that's why I saved it. Eh, I should have probably invested into it a little bit more, but whatever. And now they're taking us here, so we're gonna take them here too. Since they're looking pretty exhausted. They've lost over 2,000, 2,300 to be more exact. And we'll do this, I was will force the attack as well. This should really make this guy level five. Very soon. 93%, 94%. Can we get to 95%? Yes we can. Hey, we actually broke over already. Look at that. Go figure. They have way more divisions than I thought they would. Nice. How 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 can they attack us while we're at we're defend? How can we defend while they're attacking us and we're attacking them? I'm not sure if I really understand, but they're completely out of manpower by now. At least they have to be, right? Right? Yep. They're completely out. Stockpile probably not very much. Oh, actually, that's got a good amount of stuff. Just not, no, just no equipment. Just no equipment. Actually, now we're building us ourselves up too. Awesome. So that's the case. Oh, there goes the eighties. They were puppeted, huh? Mobile fortifications, four fire bases. Let's finish this off. Get some of those. That'd be nice. How are we not winning here? You're on the force attack, I'm sorry, but you just go on half to. It's level five. And look at how weak they are. This is ridiculous. Savannah reconnaissance is pretty decent. Reliability, reinforce rate. go there you go come on War equipment is good let's get some recon maybe because I forgot about that one how so their special forces are literally almost dead we can throw more divisions up here but that might just ruin supply exactly why we don't want to do that Finally, thank God. Get your butts in there. Good. Now they're going to take us a little bit more crazily, which is fine. They shouldn't be able to break our guys. And we'll probably go with this one, too. But lot, just lots and lots and lots of hills around here. Fire bases. Do we have any for, uh, fortifications or portable radios? Ah. Should be able to do well. Nice. Oh, yeah, they're definitely going to be dying there. Keep them in place. There you go. More difficult than I anticipated, but they still lost 4,500. Special forces are very, very strong. But in the meantime, you know, taking taking us forever. We can still do this. 
If we split them in two, it should, should still be okay. In theory. They're literally gonna, they'd rather die there. They lose uh, strength faster than organization. Come on, come on, come on, and... They literally have nowhere else they can go. They have to die there. Apologize for take, taking so long. I wish we were stronger, but apparently we are not. Mm, car manufacturer, why now? No more decryption would be nice. Ah, Kong. Thank God. New Victoria. Let's go to that one. Basic training appointments. Ship stuff. Oh, I thought I'd split you in half. Ah, there you go. Good. Any damages? Just yeah, a few damages, yes. But nothing we can't fix very, very soon and very quickly overall. Come, come, let's go. Takes a while to move from place to place, but we should do okay. I mean, New Victoria does have quite a few guys. But we can look into them real quick. Loyalty of the people. Thousand, only 1,000 manpower. 1,700, really 2,000. Uh, naval wise, they have 52 ships, but we have more. Decent amount of recon. Throw on some more recon because we can. Gives you more defense, or soft attack, hard attack, air attack. But you know, though, I'm not con too concerned about air attack, though. No, oh, actually, we'll go over here. Pop out another one, and that's just for generic air superiority. Woodworking. Nice. There's your man. Let's save real quick and we'll invade. Should not be a problem. Oh, we actually justify. Oh crap! A sixty-day focus to justify. What the heck? High confederation. Oh, we complete the decision. Okay. Uh, raid to the north. Raid the Cobra Union. Let's cross one. Raid the coasts. Um. Yeah. The people of New Victoria have lived in relative safety compared to those in the endless white. They do not fear a flag nor the set of our boats. We must teach them to fear us before we can lord over them. Their coastlands are vast, far too vast for any army. New Victoria might have to effectively protect. <clears throat> for any army that they could protect. Make them the perfect starting place for a campaign of terror. Or we just go to war with them immediately. You know, there's always that option too. And having radar would be beneficial too. The next one would be raid the poorest. Now that we've terrorized the coastlines. It's time to intensify our campaign against more defensible areas. The ports and towns. Raiding these locations would prove more difficult due to a higher concentration of forces, but the rewards are well worth the risks. <clears throat> Seize Winter Harbor. Winter Harbor is far from New Victoria's heartland, isolated and rich. It sits right for the taking by coordinated invasion, but the question is, how should we do it? There are three plans in total. War for Victoria. Previously, the prospect of looting the great city of New Victoria seemed like a dream. Now the dream is close to reality. It's time for war. It takes too long to get to that. Reign of terror. The people of the coast and the ports fear our boats, but now uh, all the people of New Victoria must fear our flag. Only once a fear is formally rooted in their hearts, will they be ours? Oh, you get free cores. You got a little population, multi population, but you know, whatever. That's well worth the risk, in my opinion. As we just continue to make these guys even stronger and stronger. You have the battleship on the pride of the fleet. Which would be very nice. Overall, not bad. We have 700 political power. Can we core anything else? Uh, do we core all that stuff later? Because this one says, for as long as the Broken Coast has existed, it's been a war with itself. Pirate captains of Bray the Blizzard and sailing through the rough seas for revenge, killing friend and foe for caps. But a new era is dawning. The epitome of our savage, bloody past and the strongest son of the Frost Clash. Ending the status quo. Only one emerged victorious, and when he did, it changed us forever in the process. We are a Khraborn. Known as Raiders, eh? Heart attack and piercing? Sure. Why not? 
reuniting Coover. Coover has long been divided between raiders and settlers, a river that splits the city as acts as a natural barrier to keep them apart. For a long time, the gang leaders and captains who occupy our bars have hungered for Coover. Numerous raids have been conducted across the river, always coming to blows with the Coover forces. And so for us to claim Coover once and for all. And then Seattle's purge. Oh, Victoria's coast are broken. <clears throat> blood, blood everywhere. That was a fate that has befallen the coast on New Victoria. Our raiding groups have totally broken the people in the outlying villages. Now our robots can dock anywhere along the coast without fear of having to fight their way ashore. Now we can move to plan on more ambitious raids against more built-up, well-defended areas. Ooh. First step is complete. We could raid them, but we're not going to for now. Uh, throw you over here. That'd be nice. So about this one. See how has many mysteries, the most prolific of which are stories of this ghostly occupants. Close inspection from a safe distance reveals that Seattle holds no ghosts, but rather men in dark power armor uh, with burning eyes. They drag unlucky wastelanders in unknown depths, doing what knows what with them. Seattle is just a jewel of our north, uh, other north, a city filled with secrets and stories. It must be ours. Cool. So come over here and do this too. So many more days we have. 40, oh my god, 48. Let's just freaking go to war. Come on, 49%. I'm gonna force it, see if you can force it. It's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. Oh, they've actually invaded us too. Well, so be it. Oh, you can actually, oh wait, is there a Oh! I thought you still had a naval invade. Well, I guess not. That makes it way easier. Way, 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 way easier. They have no organization, now they have some organization, darn it. I didn't know that. Well, you never know what they might do in Old World Blues. Pipeline failed. Huh. Keep those guys busy, we'll be fine over here too. As they're spreading out their armies, we'll be fine. It's gonna take a little bit of time. Beautiful. Hey! Brother Navy's going bye bye! Now they want to spread their armies north and go right ahead. It's not like it's really going to hurt us that much. Suicide pills, yummy. Rapid redeployments, very good to get done. Um, up next, Redbeard Cannons. I like Redbeard Cannons, those sound like fun to me. Come on, bros. Fine, well, I have the other group up here, too. My god, this is taking forever. Nice. Losses, 400 versus 350. We got New Victoria, though, so they should be dying here very soon. Uh, 38 ships left, 1,000 manpower. The port stands strong. An attempt was made last night to capture the ports of the Golden Peaks <clears throat> by our raiders. We defeated the local militia in the initial clash, but the remaining forces stubbornly fought street to street defending their homes. At some point in the early mornings, the unit of the New Victoria Army arrived on the scene. Our small raiding forces were no match for this well-disciplined foe. We're slowly forced back into the sea, but not before burning down a good portion of the port city. We will return. Honestly, I don't want to wait. It'll probably take that long for us to go to war with these guys and do that. A lot of political power, though. It's beautiful. Even though we're struggling up here, which sucks. Uh, them diverting their soldiers this way. Which is awesome. Hey, look at this. Sink them, sink them, stink them. Nice. Well, I'm really sure why not. Good. Very good.
Oh, oh, look at this. Yeah, you probably want to do that. Just in case. As we're slowly coming back and trying to blow them all up, let's see less research speed. Probably don't want that yet. Ooh, would it be good? Recent resistance cells? Scarecrows, yes. Very good. Complicated circuitry is also very good. Even more research speed, yes, please. I like how we do get the option to increase our tech levels. I think that's a very good addition for us. Ah, yes. The recovery rate. You know, I like more special forces because they're very, very strong. Ooh, they're forcing the defense. They know what's coming to them. I love it. Force it. Screw it. They want to force defense, we'll force attack. Hey! It'd be a shame if we just cut them all off. Nice. Convoys go bye bye. You betcha. Come on, sink them. Oh, we got them. We got at least one. We got two. Can we get three? At least three. Oh, we got six. I mean, I wanted three, but we got double that. Nice. Ooh, some of guys looking a little injured. Hey, that's pretty good, though. We still stunk. Sunk. One. Oh, no. So here, they should just be dying. Hey, 600,000 caps for one no through the trade routes. Very nice. And if you're still watching, thank you for watching. I appreciate it, everybody. Uh, oh, nice. You guys can do that, and there should be no waterways around here, so. Conquer a node. Beautiful. Born dawn of a new age. A reduction in coring costs, which is actually very good too. So we blew up all those ships, which kind of sucks for us now, but whatever. Graven. Skill level 6, not bad. Not bad, he's learned some things. I'm sure we all learned some things here and there, but still. Redbeard Cannon, very awesome. Recon Scout Kits, yes. One of the few campaigns where I actually have to uh, use naval stuff. Very rare, I know it's weird. Reign of Terror. Yay! In the meantime, too, in the Victoria. I'm gonna route from here to West Portland. Christian Sherwood. It shouldn't take us too long to do the war with these guys. Yeah, eight, 15 days is not bad. So after this, we get more stability and war support, which we could always use. Um, but we also get a better... It's permanent, another permanent 25% reduction in coring cost. So there's no point in even trying to core anything right now. New means allowed. Recruit all means would be a waste of time. I kind of want to go to this one, but there's no point doing it. Discouraged traders, yeah. I remember back in my out day, Old World Blues, you could, you, could, you know... I have slaves. I love the spikes. Three days left. Very good. What is that for all these? We're getting them done. Very nice. Just go straight to war with them. Immediately attack is there, which is fine. That's what I thought would happen. Uh, you should be able to win here. Overall. In general. Oh, and we also probably want to use a cypher. can't win here, I'm going to be very sad. Can you win here? God dang, you might just be able to. You can't win over there, but you can win over here with far fewer divisions. Go figure, man. Oh, we need way more manpower, too. There's that monthly population really hurt us. And we're also going to go this way, because this is just better overall. Focus more on your capital ships. And we'll get them slowly, but surely. 700 versus 400? Wow. How? You know what? Let them let them suffer over here. 
But this is why just special forces are just so freaking good. Reaper the Brute. You two can be an inspiration as well. Uh, so you basically have negative five percent leader experience gain, but you got some pretty good benefits overall. Down of a new age. This should bypass when we kill them all off. A thousand versus a thousand, twenty-five divisions for them. Uh, these guys do all the talking, pretty much. Here, mechanical knowledge, nice. Be able to take Bellingham with not too many problems. Beautiful. We're getting there. Resistance cells. Sure, we'll go with this one too. Nice. Beautiful down here as well. Start working on that. The infantry is finally crushing on in, which is taking forever to get done, but whatever. It's not e easy being a raider. Nice. Force it. Yeah, about 2,000 loss for 3,200. Not great, but not bad. How strong is the Northwestern Brotherhood, though? Can't tell. They have only 25 divisions. That's, that's far less than I thought they would have. Oh, they're actually at war with someone else's, too. Well, that's the case. This is one way to not do it. You're not with the Coover and Seattle's Purge. How long would it take? Eh, I might as well wait for the focus to get done. Overall, not bad. It has been a little difficult trying to get everything done and accomplished here, but hey, how much does this cost? 68, the dredges. I'll also try to core it all. We could really use the manpower. And less garrison cost up here as well. Oh, that's quite a bit, 18,000. That's pretty nice. Not a confederation. And with the political power, so you might as well, right? Ooh, we're so close. So freaking close. According to this here. Which sucks, but you know, overall not bad. They are at war with Malaya, which is not good for us, but you know, whatever. Who cares about them? It's their loss, really. But we'll see in just a little, little bit. And now it's hopefully time for us to go to war with them. Oh no, we can take claim states. Take, oh what the heck? It still takes thirty days? Bruh. Seattle's purge. Grants raiders claim and unlocks territory disputes with the Washington Brotherhood's former core territory. Oh, restore now, sweet. Sure, we can do that one too. Um, I thought, what the heck? Raid the Brotherhood? I don't want to raid them. I just want to kill them off. Bruh. I thought we'd get them by now. We've been duped. Duped. And credified. The barnacles? We still haven't done this on either, so. Might as well get that one done. Um, overall, oh, Malaya is doing quite well against them. We'll get, we'll get what we really want against Capitol Hill. That's really the goal for us. Which means Malaya will probably want to go to war with us too, but you know, whatever. That doesn't matter to me at this point. They have no manpower. Neither side has ma ma any manpower. But these have definitely more divisions, which does kind of suck. What do we want? Come on, 10 days left. We got this. Oh, wow, they're looking really rough right here. Not that many there. Do you have double sport special forces divisions? That doesn't make any sense. But whatever, come on. Four days left. Four days left. We can do this. Three days? Can we get three? Three, 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 three? Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine. And there we 
Special training. Breakthroughs. Timberline, Northwestern Brotherhood. It doesn't really matter too much. We might as well. We're going to be able to beat anything that they throw at us, really. Take Capitol Hill, though, definitely. So they can't have it. Bellevue. Military. Uh, I'll go with some fraggies. We got them! Now, this is ours. Oh, this is going to look so bad. Bro, just give it to me. God, this looks so god awful. Well, we technically did go to war with them, and they look better now, but still. Um, we could go to war with them, but I don't know. I don't really feel like going to war with them any anymore. But, so. If you enjoyed the video, though, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my store, link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous, tremendous, tremendous rest of your day.